Welcome back one and all. So last time we did a little CQC. Sorry, it's, it's there's a lot to actually explain compared to the rest of the game. Or rest of the game. So uh, let's get going. Uh, this m first part of the missions might be a little bit slow to go. And there might be a lot of cutscenes here and there for the beginning part. But uh, once we get going and once this mission part of the mission is over, uh, you should start getting like probably... This game is, uh, I was, I don't know, one sixth of the game is cutscene. No, one third of the game is cutscenes, as opposed to like two thirds. So as this cutscene was showing us, you, you'll notice we have a slight prompt. There's a, a guard right there, and if you look down there, there's some guards coming up there. However, there's a beehive. Can you kind of see where we're going with this? It's rather humorous. This guy's gonna come along. And apparently, nothing's gonna happen. God damn it! Let me try that again. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit the beehive, falls on his head, and he goes running and he takes care of the guards on the bridge. Because the guards on the bridge are very difficult to get by, in fact you won't be able to get by them at all without taking them out or having this guy run after them. I'll go back. I don't know if that's going to respawn the... I might have to do this the difficult way. But I'd rather show off the funny way. There you go. Throw him to the ground. Don't have any equipment on. You can drag his ass. Fortunately, when they're knocked out, they won't drop their weapon. Which is really, really silly. I'm caught on a tree, too. So you can't really tell right now. Like, I'm surprised no one has ever talked about this. But you... You do gain health. When you do CQC moves, so... Do them as much as possible really difficult to see. Anyways, that's how you deal with those guys, or you can kill them, take them out, do whatever the hell you want. They are very difficult to get by because you, have, you don't really have a choice. It's a narrow bridge. Second of all, there's a guy right there. Hey, goody. Awesome. I love CQC. Greatest invention for this game possible. Like, you literally can just go around running like running like an idiot. CQC and everybody you see. Like, literally, even your own characters, you can do it. Anyways. Another thing you can do to avoid that, guys, when you're hanging off the bridge there, and I'm not going to do it, you can drop down and catch that branch. But I am not going to do it because I am not freaking crazy. I probably won't catch it. So let's pick up some items. Ooh. Yes, I know how to use it. Gun, bullets, Penezpeps, lowers, you know, keeps you stable. So let's equip that new weapon by not pressing the wrong button, but going to Backpack, Weapons, XM. And this is basically the M16. Lightly press the button, you won't shoot anything. If you hold it down, you'll start firing like crazy. I'm not going to do this because, like he said, it's a stealth mission. Alright. So we're getting pretty close to Sokolov. It's just outside here, so our mission's almost done. The game's almost over. Pretty short game? Nah. Not that short. 
Like I said before, there are a few cutscenes, but they are not very long. As I keep warning you, it will seem long in the beginning here, but it will get shorter. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. Anytime you see the R1, you can look through Snake's eyes. Help take a closer look. I'll lean forward. Posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. I don't know, but we are going to find out. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. So unlike previous Metal Gears, you don't really have much to hide you. So you are pretty much, your best bet is to just be crawling as much as possible. Also walk slow. The slower, if you run, you'll lose a lot of... Um, lose a lot of camo index. So just kind of crawling here. You should be okay. Uh, as long as you're above 50, they should not be able to see you. Uh, also, while you're in the intrusion mode like this, you are very quiet. So even if you're crawling... Also, depending on the difficulty level, keep in mind the harder difficulties, they see you slightly better. So you notice if I'm crawling very fast... Uh, I crawl very fast out here. 70, right? I stop, 75. If I do the light crawl with the direction pad, it stays at 75. It also keeps the noise down. There's a drum there. I think that will set off an alert if I do anything. But you can actually push that drum and knock that guy over. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take a different approach. Don't go anywhere inside that wreck building because you will probably get caught. So we're going to head under here. a snake. There's a rat. You can eat the snakes. I think you can eat the rats as well, but I mean, you'll notice I'm, my stamina has not even gone down. Stand up. Don't know where that guy is. If you take them out quickly enough, it will cancel the alert. I didn't even know he was there. So the graphics are a little blurry on the uh, TV, so I have a little trouble seeing things. And then gently drop down into here with the X button, and we begin a long cutscene. Enjoy.
Stop burning my porn. You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. By the way, they're speaking in Russian. They're just translated. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? It's kind of solving why a Russian America scientist can speak English. Frightening country. Having second thoughts. No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Kodak Ahoy. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? If he got we lost past them without being caught, he would have said what no happened? one noticed. It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. <laughs> 